found an easier way to make a tube or stone and today I will show you how to make it. First rotate the racking handle in its highest position. Raise the needed needles on both beds and place the edge springs on the last working ones. The needles must be opposite to each other. Now use the orange ruler and arrange the needles on both beds in one to one division. Move the edge springs on the last working needles. Now set both locks to N and the stitch size to 3. Insert the orange strippers and take the waste yarn. I'm using two strands of waste yarn. Knit one row. Set both locks to CX and increase the stitch size to 4. Now knit two rows. Set both locks to N and the stitch size to 5. Knit one row to finish the cast on. Set both locks to CX. Remove the orange strippers and insert the black ones. Now knit 4 to 6 rows with the waist yarn. I have changed the instructions a bit so if you want to see them rewind the video and read the comment in the beginning. At this point I will decrease the stitch size by two numbers. Move the lock to the color changer and take the main yarn. Now knit two rows. On both beds put the rest of the needles in working position and move the edge springs on the last working ones. It should look like this. Now increase the stitch size to 5 on both locks. Knit 2 rows to finish the cast on. At this point you can knit until you reach the desired length. This is the final result. Now you can cut the waste yarn on both sides of the piece and remove it as shown in the video. In the description you can find the link to my playlist with all the different methods for casting on which I know. This is the final result. Now you only need to pull the cast on tail to hide the loops. Tell me if this video was helpful. Thank you for watching, have a nice day and see you next time.